nations around the world are building higher and higher mega skyscrapers. With improvements in technology, buildings can now be much taller than ever before. There are currently three skyscrapers under construction that when completed will be more than one kilometer tall. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 16 tallest skyscrapers on the planet, including the ones that will be the record holders of the future when they're finally completed. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about the tallest skyscraper. Now, let's begin. Number 16, Shanghai World Finance Center. When it was completed in 2007, the Shanghai World Financial Center became the 12th tallest building in the world. Located in the Pudong District of Shanghai, it's 474 meters high and has 101 floors, although three of these are underground. The skyscraper is a mixed-use building and contains offices, shopping malls, and the Park Hyatt Shanghai Hotel. It also serves as the headquarters of a number of financial companies and is home to Google Shanghai offices. Number 15, Taipei 101. Taipei 101 set a number of records when it opened in Taiwan in 2004. It became the tallest building in the world and had the fastest elevators, which reached speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. While these titles have since been surpassed, it's still an impressive sight on the city's skyline. At 509 meters tall, it was the first skyscraper to be built that is more than half a kilometer high. And thanks to the materials used in its construction and energy-saving measures, it remains the largest certified green building in the world. Number 14. China Zun Located in the central business district of Beijing, China, the China Zun, which is officially known as the CITIC Tower, became the city's tallest building when it opened in 2018. At 528 meters tall, it has 101 floors above ground, which are used for offices, hotels, and luxury apartments. At the top, it features an observation platform and a rooftop garden, but this soon became controversial. It turned out that from the top, anyone with a powerful enough telescope could see straight into some of the Chinese government's most top-secret facilities. Number 13. Tianjin CTF Finance Center The Tianjin CTF Finance Center opened in Tianjin, China in 2019 after six years of construction. With a height of 530 meters, it's the tallest building in the world with fewer than 100 floors and has been purposefully designed in a rocket shape. This refracts sunlight during the day to show a range of colors, while at night, the upper floors glow like a diamond. Most of its quarter of a million square meters of floor space is dedicated to offices, but there are also 365 hotel rooms and 266 private apartments throughout. Number 12. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center Located in the central business district of Guangzhou, China, the CTF Finance Center, also known as the East Tower, opened in 2016. At 530 meters high, it's the tallest building in the city and the third tallest in China and has 111 above-ground floors. Due to its huge power needs, efforts have been made to make this skyscraper as energy efficient as possible, including solar panels on its roof and chillers throughout that are used to redistribute the natural heat that accumulates inside. Number 11, One World Trade Center. Now the tallest building in the United States, the 541 meter tall One World Trade Center Tower is the main structure of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in New York. It opened in 2014, and despite being 104 floors high, has only been divided into 94 usable stories. The building, which also serves as a memorial to the events that took place on 9-11, was the world's most expensive when it opened, with an estimated cost of $3.9 billion. For comparison, the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, only cost $1.5 billion. One World Trade Center's height, measured in feet, was a purposeful reference to the year 1776, when the Declaration of Independence was signed. 
despite being mainly used to provide office space, it's undoubtedly the most meaningful building to the local community of any of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. Number 10. Lot World Tower At 556 meters tall, the Lot World Tower is easily the tallest building in South Korea. It opened in 2017 after six years of construction and has 123 above-ground floors. The majority of floor space is used for offices, residential apartments, and a hotel. The top six floors, however, have been converted into a tourist attraction that features an observation deck to give incredible views out across Seoul, along with several restaurants and bars. Number 9. Ping An Finance Center The Ping An Finance Center towers over the city of Shenzhen, China and at 599 meters tall, it's the second highest skyscraper in the country. When it opened in 2017, it broke the record for having the highest observation deck in the world, which is at an altitude of 562.2 meters. The observation deck itself is higher than any of the other buildings we've mentioned so far. Owned by the Ping An Insurance Group, it's believed to have cost around $1.5 billion to build. Even though this sounds like a lot, it's actually remarkably cheap and less than half the price of the One World Trade Center. Number 8. Abraj Al Bayit Clock Tower At a cost of $15 billion, the Abraj Al Bayit is a seven skyscraper complex in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The main building is the Makkah Royal Clock Tower. It's 601 meters tall and at the top is the highest and largest clock in the world. It's so big that you can see it from 25 kilometers away, and it's fitted with 21,000 white and green lights that illuminate five times a day when it's time for prayers. Number 7. Shanghai Tower The Shanghai Tower is the tallest building in mainland China, with a height of 632 meters. It's made up of nine cylindrical buildings that are on top of each other and surrounded by this unusual twisting glass curtain. This creates nine large indoor areas that are reserved for public use and have atria, gardens, restaurants, and shopping malls, while the central column is reserved for office space. There have, however, been several issues with the building since it officially opened in 2015, and it is the least occupied completed skyscraper in the world. Number 6. Merdeka 118 Planned to open in 2021, Merdeka 118 will be a 644-meter-tall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. When finished, it'll immediately become the tallest building in the country and the second tallest in the world, and gets its name because it'll have 118 floors. 100 of these have been reserved as rentable space for offices, hotels, and residential apartments and the remaining 18 floors will be used for the machinery needed to run the building and parking spaces. Number 5. Shimao Shenzhen, Hong Kong International Center Construction began on the Shimao Shenzhen, Hong Kong International Center in 2019 in Shenzhen, China, and when it's finished in 2024, it'll reach a maximum height of 700 meters. At an estimated cost of $8 billion, it's planned to have 148 floors and will easily become the tallest structure in all of China. Number 4. Dubai One Tower The Dubai One Tower began construction in 2016 and when it's finally complete in 2027, will be the tallest residential building in the world. With an expected height of 711 meters, it'll be one and a half times the size of the first building we spoke about, the Shanghai World Financial Center. The plan is for it to have 161 floors, with 885 residential apartments and a 350-room hotel. Number 3. Burj Khalifa Currently the tallest building in the world, the stunning Burj Khalifa was opened in Dubai in 2010. Its highest point is 829.8 meters from the ground, which is a little over half a mile, and it's thought to have cost around $1.5 billion to build. There are 154 main floors, along with nine maintenance floors, and it actually set 15 separate world records.
and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.